Brought out some rowdy fans this evening. How about that? That was, <laughs> that was pretty cool, man. What a what a crowd. I looked up in the seventh inning and a lot of them were leaving, and I'm like, what in the world? How could you possibly leave this game right now? We knew it was going to be a dogfight, and a lot of energy in the park tonight. They were playing hard. We were playing hard. The game wasn't pretty by any means, but uh, I don't know. Maybe American Idol was on at 9 o'clock tonight. <laughs> everybody wanted to see it, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're fun to watch, man. I appreciate everybody coming out. That was a great crowd. What was your message to your group? Some positives, some negatives. Obviously, you got the result you wanted, but just kind of curious what you thought overall of the performance. Didn't really even talk much about it. Just talked about the upcoming Kansas State weekend, which, you know, anytime after a game when there's emotion involved and people are upset that didn't do well and people feel great that did great, we'll let some time pass and we'll talk about this game tomorrow. But, uh, you know, we're, we're ready to move on. We got, we're six games behind Kansas State in Big 12 play already because we've had our two buys already. So they're, uh, they swept Oklahoma last weekend in Manhattan and they're feeling good about themselves and we're feeling good about ourselves. So we just, we need to start focusing on that. In the eighth uh, with, with the JJ play, did you run him to get caught in the rundown? Was that the call or? Yeah, that was okay. the idea. So okay. maybe the biggest play of the game was JJ getting caught stealing. How about that? Yeah, right, right. For ironic. He's kind of on that note then, but I think it was the inning before that. He scores from second on the what turned into a sack fly by Braden. I mean, how big is that play? Yeah, obviously. Uh, you never know if he would have scored or not because that happened with nobody out. But that's what speed does for you, man. You can use it on offense and defense. and uh, Just, you know, that's what kind of separates him from all the other guys in the country hitting over 400. And he's got like 24 stolen bases now, and he can he can do things other people can't do. Did you know coming into this one you were going to have to use your bullpen this much? I mean, is that kind of a plan at all? Yeah, we wanted to use the bullpen. We didn't want to use them that early, but uh, we needed Reed to throw, uh, needed Keegan Allen to throw, and Hageman to throw, and Estridge to throw. So uh, Cole Furman got in there for an inning and, and did some good things. So, yeah, you get, you know, we have Hampton and Traxel pitching on the weekends, and our bullpen doesn't get to pitch much when those guys start. So in games like this, it's good to, to get the guys to touch the ball. Anything else? You good?